Welcome to the fourth video in the Lazarus tutorial series. We are learning to use Game Maker Studio 2. Previously in this tutorial, you have learned about the step event, the if any object at action, and you also learned about the concept of sprite size and origin and interplating. So far, we have made objects which, of Lazarus objects, which allows him to move left and right, will make him get squashed by boxes and ensures that he can't drop two boxes high. In our previous games, we've tended to test a lot earlier and a lot more frequent. Well, this is going to be our first session of testing. We're going to build a pit of boxes, and we're going to put a background image in there as well too, and then we're going to make sure that Lazarus does move left and right and can't drop two boxes high. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make our room for um, Lazarus to go around inside. Of. So let me see. Come down to rooms, I'm going to open our room up here. And we're going to make some changes because the first thing we need to do is because all of our pixels are 40 pixels by 40 pixels. I want to change this room size so it actually is a factor of 40 both sides. Okay. I'm also going to change the grid size. So the grid is these little lines here. Now if I change the grid size to be instead of 32 by 32, I'll make it 40 by 40 um, and make it snap that means it'll all fit rather nicely together so each of my boxes and um, Lazarus and all those should all fit nicely into each one of these little boxes here now all right now let's go back to our workplace and we need to create um, some walls to go around the outside so we can actually make our pit so um, I need to get the sprite so I need to create a new sprite and this new sprite that we're going to create I'm going to import the wall. There it is, wall gift. Um, yep. And I'm going to call you um, uh, SPR wall. And a sprite wall. Load the image. And I think I want to do is, yep, so he's done with sprite walls being created. I don't have to worry, it's not being animated at all, so you can take the speed down to zero. That's not changing at all, it's only one frame anyway. And that's it. Origin is um, at zero, zero, so that way he'll fit nicely in each one of those little blocks. X there, and now I need to go down and make an object of the wall. Create the wall, um, OBJ underscore wall. Now I need to make sure this is solid, and what solid does, it doesn't allow objects to pass through it. Okay, so when I'm testing for an object there, I'll see that it's there. Um, so the whole thing when Lazarus looks and sees, is there an object below me? So if the object, you will identify the object if the object is solid. Put the sprite in. Okay, and that's all. That's all I need to do. So I'm going to close him up, go back to my room. And in my room, I'm going to create a couple of layers over here. I've got the instances layers, so I'm going to rename that. And I'm going to call this layer um, wall. And above it, I'm going to have another layer, which, no, not tiles. That was a mistake. Delete layer. Thank you. Um, here, yeah, layer. And I'm going to rename this layer. And this one's going to be called box. So we're not going to use it for this session, but we'll put it anyway. The next one is going to be called rename layer. Lazarus. Okay, so I've done that. Okay, I now also need to add my create my sprite program, which I forgot, I forgot about that. So create sprite and um, import, and there's a background one there. Open, yes, SPR. Um, Okay, he's been created. Left it for him. Back to my room. I now need to go to background. I need to put the background sprite in. I need to um, stretch it so it fills the entire background. The grid's still there, you can see. Right, and now I'm going to come in and I'm going to um, start putting the wall in. So I'm going to drag the little object out on distance. Oh, wait a second. Ah, my background. Go to wall layer. 
Um, there we are, that's beautiful. And I'm gonna come out and I'll put him under here. Okay, just click him. Make sure the drag resource person. Okay, go back here and up to there. Oh, sorry. I'm putting sort of a sprite on there. Let's try putting a object on there so then it'll be happy. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so now that you've moved some out, you press the first one here, hold alt, and just drag it along. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna do the same up this side here. Hold alt and hold alt. Right here, so we need a few things we can test. So if I'm going to put Lazarus, I'm going to move to his lab, which is here. And I'm going to put my Lazarus in the middle. Hang on a minute, my grids will play changed. No, turn back on. Why are we going 32? Let's go back to 40. How it should have been. I don't know why that changed. Right, now instead, let's bring Lazarus back out here again. Right, yeah. So we need to put some little challenges for him. So we want him to go up and up three on that side. So you can go one, two, three. Go up and down one on this side. And then finally, one, two, three so you should be able to come up over here and then fall down and not be able to come back this way so we're going to check up left up right left and right and then can't come down this way and i'm just going to do a similar thing this side so we can just check that the other way works as well too okay so let's see if this is actually going to work problem with doing testing so far in is you could make horrible mistakes. Hey, so he moves left and he moves right. That's good. Is he going to go up? Yes, he goes up and he goes back down and he goes up and he goes back down. Okay, let's try it this way. Up, up, down, down, up, up, now, down and he might really go left. And go right, can't go left. So I'm just going to stop that. I'm going to run this and let's try over this other edge here. Up, you can go left, but you can't go right. So we have a functioning Lazarus. So there you have it, Lazarus can run around our obstacle course that we've created, and now it's time to start looking at some boxes. And in this tutorial, you've learned about the concept of room size, grid size, and solid objects.